in this example, I will link a surveyor DVT, so I go to link cap, and I have this surveyor with a grid placed on it. In this one, I want to place center to center, import instance to meters, as I know this, this surveyor DVT is in meters, and I will press open. And if I zoom out, you can see that the DVT is placed with center to center, and it, it in this example, I would like to place my building somewhere around here. So I take the DVT. As a good rule, I'll place the DVT in this workset called Catlink. Now it will disappear because the workset is actually set to not visible in this view. I'll turn it back on. And then I will take the DVT and with the normal move command, I'll move this point down to my Product base point, survey point. Next step is to rotate the DVT. I'll take uh, this point, turn it so it's in a nice 90 degree angle in this view. The last step is to acquire the coordinates of the DVT because uh, you can, see, as you can see, it has specific coordinates in different points. I need those to match the coordinates in Revit. So I go to manage coordinates, acquire coordinates, and then I click on the DVT. And as you notice, the, the survey point disappeared from this view because Revit will move the survey point to the 0 0.0, .0 of the DVT. And as you can see, it's very far away from the building site. And you can also see that if you press the project base point, you can see the coordinates, the elevation has changed, and also the angle that I just uh, rotated the underlying DVT has been put into this angle to true node. And to be sure that I have the correct coordinates here, I can try to make a, a detailed line here. And then I use the spot coordinate on this point. And you can see that I have the exact same coordinates as indicated in the surveyor's DVT file. So in Revit, you have actually three points in the... Uh, you, you both have the sur survey point, the project base point, but you also have the origin, and each of them can be shown. So if I were to go to this, I could change the coordinate origin from survey point to project base point. Now it shows me that I'm 3200 millimeters in both directions from the project base point. I can also go to this and show the relative. And as you can see, it's the same. So I know that my project base point and my uh, origin both uh, situated in this in this place up here. I can actually move the survey point back. I have to unclip the paper clip and then I can uh, move it from this location and up to this example this point it doesn't change anything as you can see I still have the same coordinates up here if I change it back to Survey point. I still have the same coordinates, and that was because I unclipped the survey point before I moved it. So this survey point is still still has a link to this 0, .0, 0.0.0 of the of the DVT file. The fact that I changed the angle to true north has not been represented in this view because this view is set to show the uh, project north. But if I were to change it to the true north. I could see which direction the building will actually be turned in according to the true north. 